Hey guys. My name is Money. Together we have two kids. Together we're known as Hanji. So we're back in New Zealand, guys. Today is day two officially. And this video is gonna be why Mummy G and Daddy G did not come back with us. How is Daddy G still stuck in India? Huh? Is he gonna be going back after this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so Daddy G was an Indian citizen. As soon as you get, as soon as you acquire a citizenship from another country or a passport from another country, you have to give away your Indian passport as well and apply for an OCI card. My mommy G has one, but my dad doesn't. Your silly Daddy G and silly you and everyone else involved. Um, mommy G was the only one that applied for an OCI card. Nobody else did. So dad still has to apply for the same visa I have to apply for. <laughs> I think Noah wanted to make a special entry, guys. They call Aji yellow paya hoya. But this boss wanna lag rahe hai. Tu kada lagya ho na? Chala kya hai? Kada mummy ji kare. And we've got Hazel, who is unfortunately still very unwell, guys. She's not been feeling too good, so she's always lying down, um, low energy at the moment, and I think she's got a gastro bug. ठीक है मेरी लड्डो, ओ मेरी परी. She's not eating anything, but thank God she's still drinking, guys. And we're giving her a little bit of medicine as well, just to cheer her up. Do you want your cup of coffee, sis? देख मम्मी तेरे वास्ते भी कड़ा लेके आ गई ओए एक शगले भी नहीं है शगले नहीं है ये भी कड़ाई है हां जी ऑन द बैकग्राउंड गाइस वी आर जस्ट मिसिंग मम्मी जी सो वी आर प्लेइंग लोडी वीडियोस एट द मोमेंट नोआ किन्ना बड़ा लगदा हाना सो क्यूट वाओ आई डोंट इवन रिमेंबर हिम बीइंग दैट स्मॉल इन दिस लाइफ टाइम इट वाज लाइक अ ड्रीम हां जी हां जी पर नहीं बहुत बढ़िया दिन सीगा लोडी दा बेबी तो सारे कड़े पा गया तू जो ही बनदा फ्रेंड तो ओह माय गॉड ही वो ऑल द कड़स Oh, That's from my um wardrobe. So you've got like three, four, five. My gosh, <laughs> six cutters. So oh, Hazel, they want to put a boat photo. A boat photo. So we just got finished looking at some kindies for the kids, guys. It was really cute. We literally had to drag them out of each one because they just wanted to play on the playgrounds the whole time. It was really, really cute. Um, so now, what are we doing, baby? I don't even know where we're driving so to. So we're just gonna go to the mall with the kids yeah. tonight. It feels good to be back. Hanji. Take them to the mall, maybe do like a little bit of shopping or get them in some cars so they can drive the car. Yeah, we Hanji. actually do need to get a couple of snacks and drinks and stuff for Hazel's birthday tomorrow. Tea. Tea, tea. And we actually, we actually want to play in the mall. You want to play and in the mall? They're like a playground right here. They do have a little mall? playground in the mall, yeah. So we've just arrived at the mall, guys, and getting the kids in one of these cars. You can basically hire them for about eight dollars an hour. Uh, the two ones, we've got single ones. I think that's like four or six dollars an hour. Really handy. Is that, you know this race one? This one yeah. is a race and it's so. Is it a race one? Because yeah. it's rare day. It's fast, like a Ferrari G. Oh, it's cool. Absolutely ridiculous. Do you want me to push it? No, no. This one is nice and big. Very nice. Here is the Albany Mall here in New Zealand. I missed so, you, Albany. Where are we going? Come on, Hazel. Go. You can hang. Can I get him in a monkey yard on the Hazel? Oh, 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 ah, ah. And slide down. One, two, three. Good girl, Hazel. So we're back home, guys. Got everything that we needed. We did some shopping for Hazel's birthday tomorrow that we're celebrating with the family. Abby is just doing her nails right now. I had the longest acrylics on, guys. They were so grown out and so horrible, so I'm fixing them myself. Very nice. Oh, I was like, wait, when did Noah get outside? That's a like Billy. Oh my gosh. So we've got both of the kids lying down watching their TV shows right now. They're relaxing. And you got a bandage. Oh, Lado. Ah, then Noah the high hoagie. That's really loud, Noah. Loud TV. But outside, guys, I'm just going to be cleaning the backyard. Since we were overseas, there's so many leaves on our grass and I've just got to clean everything, make it look nice and tidy as well. Let's see how it looks around the house. So, hanji hanji hanji, ethe bhi saaf karna la, saaf karayenge sara kuch. Yep, so clean all of that, take it down, put it in a bag, rubbish it. And yeah, we'll have a look. Are you helping daddy now? Good girl. Oh! <laughs> so the backyard is all nice and clean, guys. Uh, blowed off all of the leaves and like the excess branches that were fallen from the neighbor's house got the baby gate up there now so that's securing all of the paint because the kids can actually just run freely um i remember i painted all up to around this corner and i've still got to paint all the way down there just haven't had the time dadu dadu i'm missing dadu 
Hazel, come here. Can you say, I miss you, Daddy? I miss you, Daddy. Good girl. And can you say, I miss you, Dadu? I miss you, Dadu. Good girl. You guys might be wondering, like, money, your beard grows back so fast. How did it grow back in one day? Because like, in the start of the video, like, you can see my lineup is lower and it's heavier. This video has actually been recorded two or three days after we recorded that <laughs> fresh yes, info, guys. That is how fast his beard grows. Like literally two, three days, boom, it's back. <laughs> so we celebrated Hazel's birthday and that video we recorded, I think was like the day before. And we were supposed to let you guys know what's happening with Daddy, but unfortunately we had so much on our plate. Hazel's birthday and now after <laughs> Hazel's birthday, I got a really bad gastro bug. So I've been yeah. really sick for the past two days now mm -hmm. like really really bad like how Abby was in India it's just horrific but what is happening with daddy he's finally coming back guys he's got his visa sorted yeah they should legally allow him to exit the airport this time so yes he'll be back uh, in five days or so? Five days or so, yes. Yeah, so and Mamiji also. As you guys all probably know, my entire family was in India for about two months, guys. We had a lot of work to be done in India. Um, and they also just wanted to spend time together. So on the 29th of January, like my chachajis, my boojis, like the kids, my dad, they all had a flight to return back to New Zealand. Yeah. This was like the very first time when they were going to come back. Um, unfortunately, when they got to the airport, the airport staff told them that they just missed their flight and that their flight actually boarded uh, five hours earlier than what it yes. was on the app and on the paper. And unfortunately, because uh, Daddy G, they literally printed out the piece of paper mm. of their flight time when they booked it mm. and they were not checking online to see had there been any changes. Yes. The airline said that they emailed Daddy Nothing. and stuff about it. They did not receive any email about it. So unfortunately they did miss their flight. But unfortunately, as rules are rules guys, they were not allowed on the plane. So they had to go back home and then call up our- They had to drive the seven hours back to yeah, Ludiana. Seven, eight hours back to Ludiana. Yeah. All excited to come back to New Zealand, but I unfortunately know. things didn't go well. So they headed back to Punjab. Uh, once they got back home guys we had to phone up like the flight agencies let them know what happened and then yes they did take um what's it called like on themselves like they took full responsibility of of what has happened and then they yeah. gave my parents and all of the family a new flight for free which but was about take, two three weeks it after it took a long time to get them to do that yeah it was a bit of a headache guys and because of all this, you know, we had reapplied for Daddy G's visa Andy. because his visa was expiring three days after he was supposed to be back here. So we applied for a new one for him thinking we'll be fine, you know, a new visa, he'll be totally fine by leaving. Um, and his visa was approved. So we thought, sweet, he's still mm. got a one year visa. It's just been approved. He'll be completely fine to come back. But unfortunately, that is not the case. And yep. for some reason, a visa was approved when it actually shouldn't have been approved because he was still in India. Yeah, so like you cannot, because it's an entry visa, so technically like you have to enter with that visa, that visa, you know, so that visa is invalid and I totally understand what happened. So when my dad tried to go come back to New Zealand on the 17th of February when the new flights were given to him, everyone else got on the plane, got through security, but my dad was stopped because he didn't have a valid <laughs> visa. He was an overstayer technically, so... They explained to him that he's not allowed on the plane. He's an overstayer. He has to go and fill out a new form at the embassy, which is called an exit visa. So that was a long process as well. But thankfully, it was all done online. Like so, EFRRO website, I think it was. It was funny though, because Daddy G went to the embassy in Amritsar to yes. try and apply for the exit visa. Yeah. And they were like, it's been over two weeks, you've been an overstay. We can't even help you here. You need to do it online. online yeah. And we were like, what? So, so it was a whole process. But it was actually quite an easy process. The you. process was like in Amritsar, they did say if it was less than two weeks, they could have yes. helped him then and there. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like fill out the applications and go through the process uh, on the day. Yes. But unfortunately, because it was over two weeks, they had to apply online. Yeah. Um, after online, they had to go through like the court system as well. Uh, they had to get a police clearance report. Like when a policeman comes to your house, so writes like a whole report about what happened, the incident. Then you had a penalty fee as well that you had to pay online. Did he? Yeah. But oh. thankfully, it was only 500 rupees. Okay. I thought it was going to be about 20,000 rupees because I was yeah. reading it online, but oh. it was only 500 rupees. Oh my gosh. Um, and mum is like, thank God we went to all the Gurdwaras, you know, Babaji looked after us. Um, but we do really need to apply. This, this has 
taught us that we really need an OC iPad yeah. for Money G, Daddy yeah. G. I don't know if I can. I think everyone, even the kids can get one. You can, can get one. Get the, I don't think I can. Because they're married. Yeah, but I'm not of Indian descent. I don't think I You're British. Know. You guys rule the Indian. Chubbagarja, <laughs> please. <laughs> no, joke, all jokes aside, guys. But Abby is right. We have to apply for like OCI cards or maybe like five years visas, like so we just have Longer no ones. issues, you know. Yeah, we definitely learned our lesson here. Yeah. We know the visa rules a lot mm. more. Mm. Um, it was our fault for sure. We should have looked into for it. For sure. Like when we were there with Daddy G, and we didn't even do nothing. We yeah. should have looked into it. Like, is this so visa okay? When we were there with Daddy G, we just assumed everything was gonna be totally fine cause yeah. the because the old had visa the new was approved. Visa. You know, like technically, the system should have understood that my dad is in India and yes. they should not have approved it. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. But he's coming home, guys. Finally, after like four months. 